Hi, why good morning you too. I'm at this side and with me Vivek Sahi also is available. First of all, I just introduce myself. Well, I'm a Amir, having five plus experience in Oracle EBS, and uh, I'm just a learner. Yeah, Vivek, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, hi all, this is Vivek. I'm having eight plus years of experience working on Oracle apps. Uh, I, I I had great time working with Amir. Uh, where we worked on 11i and 12.1 release and uh, now we are working on 12.2 uh, uh, which is quite new in the market yeah Amit you can proceed yeah let's start we are so today agenda is we are supposed to install 12.2.2 Oracle EPS let's start I have already created the staging area my staging area is here okay start disk the rapid disk this is the folder which are the file is here in there there's a command rapid with before that there's a prerequisite required all the rpm we have to install but oracle easily they have given that uh, uh, yum utility you can you have to create yum repository and it required all the rpm it installed automatically i have already done those prerequisite steps now i'm going to the rapid installation steps Okay, the first dialog box will be open. In the database version, we have to check which database is fresh, which we have to check. Technology stack is totally changed in 12.2. Okay, we have to just press next. And uh, while you are going to upgrade, then you have to press update. But we are supposed to install fresh installation. This is a use express installation. What the difference is here? Express is automatically whatever the recommended it will install that one. But we are not using this one. We are just go for the installation of 12.2. Okay, and just uncheck this one. Okay. Okay. Now we have to create a new configuration file. If you have a, you any use, if you have your old XML file from here, you can use also. Vivek sir, do you have any question? Yes. Yeah. Uh. No, I mean not as of now. Uh, we are installing 12.2 from scratch, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Proceed. No questions. Okay. This is the default port. If you want to increase the port, you can do it one. Like if you put seven, all the incremental incremental by eight. So I just put it as default. Sometime if the port availability it will be seven zero zero three. It's already used. Might be sometime the port is not available. Let's check. You can also, if you want to edit the port, you can edit from here. You can change the port also. For this, for me, it's not. Just next. Okay. Now we have the configuration the database node. In the database node, we are supposed to store fresh database. If you are using Vision, it's required more data. Any and the difference between fresh and Vision is here. Vision can in Vision itself have lots of product. Uh, database already installed. Press nothing. No data will be there. Okay. Your seed name, your host name, your DNS name, and Oracle group. And here the changes are like which any which Oracle home uh, where the data will be stored. Okay. And the the thing is then database side that they now you can directly implement rack itself. Okay. If you want to rank. But previously in L1, you can't and uh, put rack. You have to separate. Now then again, you have to merge. Then you have to go rack. But now you can directly push to rack also. But our don't we use it today rack? Okay. Go next. Uh, Vivek sir, do you have any question on this one? Uh, yeah, just just click once on the rack checkbox, uh, Amit. Yeah. So click rack node button to select service. Okay, so we have one more option as shared Oracle Home. So if we want uh, to have a shared Oracle home, we can check this as well, right? Correct. Okay, okay. So this will like, um, I mean, uh, install Rack database by itself. Yeah, by itself and it's a default one we can create. Previously, it's not, there's a no option. We can implement Rack itself. But 12.2, oh. now we can enable. So earlier, like we have to install Rack like uh, separately and over that we can have application. 
or we can have single node uh, installation and post that we can change from single node to uh, multi node rack but here we have direct option if we click this like uh, we will we'll get uh, option to have uh, to install rack database right yeah okay okay and the license part okay which you have license just click on the license and don't uh, click anyone on the license because if you click anyone license suppose you you have to familiar with that one uh, unnecessary you act suppose you have clicked this one and uh, while installation installation completed but in 12 to it's all uh, it will be pop up every time that it's not licensed you have to check so be sure before doing license doing license. Later, Later. yeah yeah uh, so don't click any license we can do in the post license also like we have at that uh, in the site map for the license managers there from there we can also enable the license previously we had utility also adl lic mgr right now we are not clicking anyone just we are escaping next this is the default uh, regional language if you want to check you have to check by default it's a us one i just click next okay this is your territory which territory your database and your uh, ns nls format character set would be so for us territory is us so for that one we have to check this territory database character set now click next and this is your primary your, your application application configuration file the first one is host name dns name and the important change is here like see they have introduced new top fs1 fs2 and your this is your uh, directory structure and this is fs any this three they have introduced in new in 12.2 and uh, the by default yeah, you can like apple csf lock is in nst location you can change that log also like single to prod there is also a two optional introduced in this 12.2 it's nothing but your uh, your concurrent, concurrent log apple csf lock locations the major thing is changes here fs1 fs2 and fs any any is nothing um, but you yeah 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 we will say um Hamid, uh, just click on that option we have one option at the bottom right edit services yeah edit uh, services nothing but it's enable and disable by default all are enable here okay okay if okay, anyone fine. is disable is here we have to enable that one okay okay fine yeah okay so the only changes is this thing now we have to press next okay and uh, we have to give all your application necessary uh, any password sharing suppose for uh, web logic i have give my credential here okay and repeat this is your oracle user i just give my credential and uh, if you want to change that uh, default uh, any password like system like manager and uh, your apps is called to apps you can change it if you want if you don't want you can just uncheck it will take the default value like system manager apps apps okay okay i just press next and this is your the things database node and primary node which we have configured this is single node installation can in one box we have database and primary if you you want to shared application file system you can do also like we have to go add server in add server we have to go to your host name of your second machine where you want to share file system you have to give here users any oracle user or installation groups and everything and you have to most important you have to check this one and you have to give that that the host name which you are to um, which you have to do shared file system okay so just uh, just in case we need a scenario where uh, uh, database is there one node is there and we want two nodes just like we have primary uh, application node and secondary application node where the uh, the file system will be shared is the same scenario right correct correct sir okay okay for this we don't want to share uh, we are just single node is we just uncheck i just cancel it i'm just for demonstration person i just telling you okay just i think next. we have checked it uh, um, okay okay 
it's a it, this this dialog box is pre request checking if anything is failed it will be prompted here that which okay. one is failed like right now it's checking that our host name pinging and the it's pass in host name now it's checking middle tier host pinging it's checking middle tier like that you see here database pre request check is happening it's the same like 12.13 nothing changed only the two file system yeah, three file system has been introduced here fs1 fs2 mm -hmm. fs any all right for installation purpose nothing so major changes but suppose it failed some something failed we have to check where it's failed like sometime it's failed on uh, port capability might be required rpm is failed so we have to debug on that one like previously we are installing rpm like manually rpm ibh and rpm net but the oracle has uh, has given very good utility utility gm installation from there we can just um, create a repository it will automatically install all the pre-request patches and rpms so uh, do, do, do we have any do we have any note ID or something uh, wherein to check like uh, what all prerequisites required? Uh, yeah, what all, we uh, have. I, I will post on the YouTube channel called prerequisites. Okay, sure. Take time. Depend upon how much resource and any how much required RPM and RAM we have. That's why it's taking time. If you are installing in your own laptop, then it's a hard disk around. We have we need around 500 GB free space. And the RAM would be 16. 16 GB is enough. Okay. See, right now it's yeah. See, all the uh, post any pre request are passed. If anyone is failed, it will be came cross. But for us, everything is passed. If any okay. fail, we have to just click on dialog box this one, and we have to just check why it's failed, and we have to read it. Okay. We just okay. press next. If you press next, it will be installed that uh, your installation process. From there, it will take around it depend upon your resources. And it take hardly three hours to two to three hours. Okay. Can I press next? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. See, okay. which we are using press database technology stack this one. Okay. And, okay. Uh, so forms we have 1012 okay developer 10 g 1012 java plugin can we just expand the first one oracle database technology stack yeah so here we have 11 okay that's for our database yeah fine um yeah yes yeah that's fine now installation process is started Thank you YouTube for watching this video. So, yeah, thanks Amit. Thanks. This is a great uh, contribution on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you.